My father rubs his palms as he speaks, building friction like he can almost feel their money in his hands. Yes, Papa, I repeat the only words I'm allowed to utter and clench my fists until I feel the sting of my manicured nails dig into my hand. I don't know if I draw blood, and I don't care. No one will be looking at my hands tonight. These were always the kind of matches I expected. I haven't seen either man since my father hosted an outlandish party for my 18th birthday, hoping to pique the interest of the most powerful dons and their lunatic sons. Giovanni isn't as unhinged as the rest, but is a well-known philanderer with baby mamas stashed all over the city. He'll humiliate me publicly, but perhaps leave me alone in favor of warmer beds. Massimo is a psychopath with delusions of grandeur. I've heard he wants to be the Dawn of Dawns, a laughable ambition. He knows that position is currently occupied by a man who could make him disappear with a single word, but his small mind tricks him into believing he's up for the challenge. Your Nona will accompany you on an excursion into Manhattan to prepare you for tonight. I need you to look your best. You're fortunate enough to look like your beautiful mother. Make her proud by serving your family well. He paces, daring to reference my mother, wagging his fat finger as he speaks. Ice spreads through my veins. The end of my pitiful life is near. Are you listening, Nadia? My father bellows, crossing the room to bring his sweaty face inches from mine. He places a handkerchief on his brow and grumbles. Say yes or no, girl. I nod and swallow the despair clogging my throat. Yes, Papa, I understand. I understand everything. He's using me to reclaim the lost glory of the once great Corvo family. Once upon a time... We were mafia royalty. So impressive, we joined the ruling five as the sixth family. We helped line the coffers of our allies with drug money from our loyal connections in Colombia and the Middle East, ran weapons of all shapes and sizes, and lent out the family's most ruthless killers as hired guns. But those days were long gone. Fifteen years ago, shortly after my mother was killed, my grandfather was accused of conspiring to kill Vincenzo Serpico, the heir to the Serpico family. He was guilty, paid the ultimate price, and left a stain on the Corvo name. My father has never been able to repair the damage. He spends extravagantly to keep up appearances and court allies, but less money means fewer men to defend his territory. As his power dwindles, my father aims to recapture what he believes rightfully belongs to him.